All right. Okay, so from the last episode, what was I was I talking about? Um Oh, this doesn't have a moon. Okay, cool. This doesn't have any life, but it does have a lot of resources. Standard CO2. All right. Okay, so like, all right. <sighs> you know, I guess actually, this game does a little bit have that sort of thing with the weapons. Um, so like, you have the Rattler, you have the Side Star, you've got the Regulus, and you've got the Urban Eagle. Um, that are all like, they're they're two companies that make the same guns. Um, they do have slightly different stats, although I don't think they're... They do have different stats, although I don't think um, you would be forgiven for um, using them just interchangeably. Um, because, like, um, they're not, like... Because, like, they kind of... Eh, I mean, yeah, like, the stat differences aren't that great that... You know, it's just, um, like, oh, I can't believe you'd use this over this. It's so much better, um, for this particular thing. Um, and it, it comes down to more personal preference. I think that's one thing that Star Citizen is, uh, could really learn from, um, in terms of current weapons. Um, the, in what, if they changed the LH-86, there was... In terms of like sort of standard pistols, there was the Arc Light, the S38, and the LH86. The Arc Light, being an energy pistol, had 30 shots. Um, the S38 was a ballistic pistol. Had is a ballistic pistol. Um, has 15 rounds. And the LH86 was maybe a little bit more compact. Um, and had 13 rounds. Um, and maybe, like, I, I don't know if it did, I don't know what the stat differences were. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I think it would have been interesting if the LH-86 was, like, a really, really fast-firing gun. The S-38 was, like, it has more ammo, but it's not really gonna matter because you're not gonna go through as many rounds as fast. So it's like, oh, um, yeah, I've got 15 rounds, uh, but, like, if I'm, but, um, I have 15 rounds, but I, if I really need to dump 13 rounds into a target, like, immediately, that's not a thing you can do with the S38, but it's a thing you could do with the LH86. That's how I would have, that's how I would have wanted to balance that, and I think it would, I think that kind of a concept would have been interesting, but no. They made the LH-86 a machine pistol. Now, maybe, maybe in their eyes it is a pistol with a full auto mode, <laughs> and that's, and that's how, and that's how it's, that's how they see it. Um, in my mind, it is a machine pistol, and as thus different, um, its own separate beast, and no longer simply, um, no longer is it simply a, a pistol, you know? Which means that the S38 and the Arclight... I, I mean, the Arclight also got a burst fire. I, I haven't used the Arclight, so I don't really know. I can't really form an opinion on it because I haven't used it yet. Which is a bit sad because <laughs> it's the default pistol. <laughs> um, everybody starts with one, so... Yeah. Um... And I think, like, I don't know. Um, so, to be determined if the arc light really feels like a regular pistol anymore. Um, like, burst fire is... They're kind of making burst fire a sort of, um... Just a thing that Klaus and Werner are, like... that. That's just a thing they do, um, is burst fire weapons. So, like, okay, that makes enough sense. That's fine. It's whatever. Oh, yeah, um...
Sorry, I don't know why. I was just thinking about the, the uplifted fossils is making me think of fossils. And, um, in particular, the fossils that are, like, not actually fossils from, like, three different things that people, like, put together trying to um, sell it as, a, like, some new super thing. I know, like, there was a quest like that in, um... <laughs> there was a quest with one of those people in, um... Red Dead Redemption 2, and, uh... I haven't I haven't played that, or I haven't properly seen it, um, myself in-game, but I have seen a clip of it and just like, oh my god. This is like... Yep, this is, uh, this is a, this is a thing. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, sorry. So the the thing with the the pistols and Star Citizen, I I really like. Like we need companies that are making like you know, um, their own version of this, you know. Um, we need like a company that is making like a. Um, there's there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things they could potentially do, um, just with like new manufactured things. Not even. To bring... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why... I don't know why my shotgun is phasing through my pack. Uh, we'll just... We'll just... We'll just... Whatever. Um, but yeah. Um, what in particular? What in particular? Um, and there's a lot of ships like that. I definitely would love to see some, like, craft-produced... Or, like, you know made in somebody's garage kind of ships, but that's... I, yeah, I don't know. The Star Citizen, like... They have a... Like, the ship art team... Well, the ship art team is great. But also, like... For no... To my understanding, for no apparent reason, the ship team for Star Citizen has a lot of turnover. Um... Just because there's, it's a really competitive sort of field, um, and a lot of people come and go, and that kind of creates some problems when you have people who like have all of this knowledge and then leave, and you know that that kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, um, yeah, I would love to see like a standard pistol made by Hedby or Castac. Um, or any other company, well, I guess, well, I guess in my mind, Gemini, but I guess Gemini kind of does, you know, or Vaults, or Ubera, or the Lightning Bolt, or whatever. Anyways, um, Starfield, right, that's what we're playing. <laughs> Till next time, have a good day, great day even, Chowskis.